Hey guys, all right, we're back again for another installment of Wheelin Basics, okay? This time we are looking at aperture. So last week we went through shutter speed, we looked at a fast shutter speed and what that could do, and a slow shutter speed and how it affected the blur of the motion. This week we're looking at another kind of blur and it's called background blur. So again, like last week, we were looking at our poi, we're back again, and this week I have set it up and I'm taking a photo of it and we're gonna try and see what happens to the background as I focus just on this poi. And as you can see in mine, everything is really sharp in the background, okay? You can see my cup of coffee, you can see my headphones there, you can see the table, the ribbon is really sharp, and our subject, this piece of poi, is also really sharp. Then I go down to four. Again, this is one over four, so it's a quarter. And now we're getting some really nice blur. Parts of the front of the plane are a little bit blurry as well. So this ribbon here is getting a little blurry. And here is where you start to see that beautiful background blur. You can't really make out the headphones. They just look like a red blob. The coffee cup as well is this fuzzy kind of a black thing. Even parts of the subject isn't in focus. So this front part is in focus, but just behind it isn't. This is where you have to be really careful because if you're taking a portrait of somebody and you focus on their face at 1.8, there's a good chance that their nose will be in focus, but their eye won't or their ear will be in focus, but their eye won't. At really, really small apertures, like 1.4, 1.2, you can see the eyelashes in focus, but the pupil isn't. That's why landscape photographers will use very small apertures, because they want to get the entire land into your shot. So if you want to take nice landscape photos, I recommend F16 or F22 or something like that, uh, and you can get really, really sharp images. If you're a street photographer, F8 is really nice because it gives you a little bit of blur, but most of your subject will be in focus. If you're a portrait photographer, you want to get that lovely background blur, F1.8 is going to be really, really nice for you. So that's pretty much aperture, and that's how it balances out the different kinds of blur. So last week we looked at shutter speed, and this week we looked at aperture, and that's background blur, okay? Next week we're going to talk about ISO. See you then!